Hey everyone, this is Dennis Pan again from SAP Reba. For all of you who have viewed my previous two videos on creating Recast.ai chatbot and integrating it to Slack, I want to thank you all for viewing them and hopefully you can recreate what I have shown you uh, in those two videos. If you have not viewed those videos, welcome to go to my YouTube channel Dennis Pan to view them. Just click on the Stormtrooper icon shown below the video for you to enter my channel and view those videos. Today, this presentation is on why we need to create flowcharts of your chatbot before implementing it on Recast.ai, especially if the business logics of your chatbot is more complex. We will use my new Recast.ai chatbot called Veganland as an example to illustrate this. In here, Veganland is a fictitious vegan pizza business delivering vegan pizza to the address specified by customers like you. So before you can build a passenger jet or a building or a ship, you need to create blueprints for them. Otherwise, you will waste lots of time and money and it will be a disaster. Similarly, before you can build a working business chatbot on Recast.ai, you also need to create a flowchart to describe the business logics and flow you want for this bot. Essentially, a flowchart is like a blueprint for your chatbot. Without this blueprint, you could make lots of mistakes while wasting lots of time in implementing the chatbot on Recast.ai. This is akin to trying to navigate to a building in a large city without a map. Maybe you will get to the building eventually, but you will actually make tens of thousands of wrong turns, wasting a lot of time and money. The flowchart for your bot, of course, is not static. If you get stuck in implementing certain parts of the chatbot on Recast.ai for some reasons, you could always go back to the flowchart and make minor modifications to move things forward. One more thing to remember is as you create a flowchart, try to ensure the logics and flow on the chart makes good logical sense in the first place. If the logic of your flowchart failed to make sense, you might always get stuck in implementing the bot and you might need to start over and recreate the flowchart again, wasting you lots of time. So you have to be smart about this in order to avoid frustration. Of course, if you create a chatbot that will reach millions of customers for your company, you want to get the logic right and that benefits customers the most. So you might need to contact your UX designer to discuss how you can make the flowchart more logical and fit the needs of the users. So you can create a good flowchart with good business logics that you can implement uh, without much regrets. So here is a flowchart I made for Veganland. For one to order pizza only, in this flowchart, we the user start with the keyword vegan land or home. After that, the chatbot reply you with a card having either a pizza menu button or appetizer menu button. In this case, we just click on the pizza menu button, and the chatbot will respond you with a carousel filled with pizza items that you can add to cart. Suppose we want to add the pizza item P3 to the cart. Once we click on add to cart button, it will reply to you a message telling you what you have added to your cart. It will ask you to order now, either answer yes or no, or otherwise you can either type pizza menu or appetizer menu to add more items. But if you choose to say no, uh, it will go through a message that tell, kindly telling you say my cart to view cart or say home to go to home page. And once you say my cart, you will see what you added to your cart. And basically this whole thing could be circular unless you say yes, so that you will go through the whole process of finalizing your order by first asking your credit card number, uh, your security code, and your address. So it can give you a confirmation message uh, telling you uh, what you have ordered and even tell you the address that you'll be delivered to. It will tell you to wait for one hour for your delivery to arrive. So this is pretty simple. 
if you want to only order appetizer only, you can click on the appetizer menu after the home page shows up, and then you will see a carousel filled with appetizer items. And you can choose, for example, A3 uh, by click Add to Cart for the card that has A3. And then you will see a message confirming you order, you will place the appetizer item A3 to your cart. And either answer yes or no. If you say yes, complete the ordering process. If you say no, it will kindly tell you to view your cart or go home. Um, and you can view your cart or you can go home as well. And then you can keep doing this until you say yes uh, and complete the ordering process. Note that if you type home and vegan land at any given time in this chat box, all the memory will be erased. So essentially what you have added to your cart uh, will get erased. So basically starting over again, uh, just to let you know. And uh, and here, this is a flowchart about you adding both a pizza and an appetizer into your cart. And uh, I'm not going to hold detail of how this is going to work. You just you can pause this video and view the flowchart uh, for you to understand the flow. And uh, later on, we will show you a demo that actually basically following. Uh, the flow in this flow chart. Now, uh, here's the demo for Veganland chatbot on Recancel AI. So you can visit this link uh, to find the chatbot I created. And you can clone it to your chatbot account on Recancel AI and play around with it and even, even modify it with it. See if you can make a better chatbot. Uh, so go to this link. Uh, but now at the View tab, you will see skills I implement in ways that is consistent with my flowchart. I'm not going to hold detail of how what these skills are, but uh, essentially I attempt to create uh, all those skills for the chatbot in order to be consistent with what I created from the previous flowchart I've shown you. So it took me four hours to finish the entire vegan and chatbot thanks to me having a good flowchart on the bot for reference. So I did not create any flowchart beforehand. Uh, so if I did not create any flowchart beforehand, it might take me 24 hours or more to finish the entire chatbot for I could make lots of needless time wasting mistakes. So I won't go to the detail on how I create the whole chatbot for this presentation is only on explaining the virtue of creating flowcharts way before you implement the bot on recast.ai or other platforms. Now let me show you a demo on how one could order pizza appetizer on this vegan land chatbot. So I am at my vegan land page and I just check with my bot. Say I want to start using bot by saying vegan land or home, but in this case I just say vegan land. And it will show you a card with pizza menu button and appetizer menu button. I want to order, I want to add some pizza, so I click on the pizza menu button. Uh, in this carousel, you have about six pizza items you can choose. You have grilled veggie pizza, tomato basil pizza, lemon potato pizza, avocado pizza, margarita tomato pizza, or mushroom cheese pizza. It will even tell you the size and price. So I just want to add this pizza to my cart. And I confirm that I added mushroom cheese pizza uh, to my cart. It asks me to order now. Please say yes or no. But I don't want to order it right now. And I want to add more items like appetizer menu item. So I just reply the chatbot with appetizer menu. In here, uh, we have a carousel showing all the 
appetizer menu items such as asparagus fries, watermelon pizza, garlic bread, and vegan bites. So I want to add watermelon pizza to my cart. It will tell you what you have added to the cart. Order now, yes or no. So I want to show you the cart that contain all the items you added. So I just say no. So you don't want to order now. See my cart to view my cart at home to go to home page. And I just say I just want to view my cart. So it confirms that you add a mushroom cheese pizza and watermelon pizza to your cart. Uh, do you want to order now? Yes or no? Or I just say yes. And the bot asks you to enter your credit card number. So this is a demo. So uh, I don't want you to add real credit card number in there. Uh, so just make up some credit card number for your security. So maybe it's 1011-4444-8888-9874. And then it will proceed to ask your credit card security code. Maybe it's one, four, six. So what is your delivery address? Uh, let's say, let's use 850 San Felipe Road. And it will tell you, you have ordered mushroom cheese pizza and watermelon pizza, consistent with what you have added to your cart. It will tell you the delivery address. Uh, it will tell you to wait for one hour for your delivery to arrive. And you can call this number to see the status of your delivery. At the same time, I want to entertain people a little bit. You know, when you go to a Chinese restaurant and order some Chinese takeout, they also added some fortune cookies so that you can enjoy after the meal and look at a little slip of paper telling you what your fortune will be. And then, uh, so for the same token, I give people the option to look at pizza joke. Say, want the pizza joke? You can click on, say, the pizza joke uh, button. So this is not necessary for you to implement, but I just want to make this presentation a little bit more fun. So that's why I add the option to see pizza joke. So if you say pizza joke, it will say, I want to order a large person with extra body parts seasoned with human brain sauce. That's terrible. I got this uh, inspiration from uh, Tim, uh, Rick and Morty cartoon. They have this dimension called pizza dimension. And essentially, you know, people eat billions and billions of pieces of pizza uh, throughout the times. And it's time for the pizza to be revenge against us, which is just something that's kind of humorous and hilarious. And I also integrated this chatbot to uh, Recast.ai. I'm not going to go through the whole process. I just show you what I did on Recast.ai. So I just type vegan land and give you a card telling to order to click on pizza menu or appetizer menu. And if I click on pizza menu, it give me all these items. So the UI on Slack is a little bit off because it's not completely compatible to Slack. So you won't see the carousel with uh, six cards for six different types of pizza, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, at least you are putting on Slack so it's uh, other people can play with it. And so you confirm what pizza you have added to your card. If you wish to order more items, you say pizza menu or appetizer menu for you to add more items into the cart. And the same thing with the appetizer menu. Um, and you know, go through the whole ordering process. And then after it confirmed to you what you have to, will be ordering and the address to deliver to, uh, you have the option to look at pizza joke. I just type, click on see pizza joke. And uh, it gave me a card telling you a pizza joke. And here's the image of the pizza dimension seen in Rick and Morty. And uh, 
which is pretty funny. All right, so I want to say that's it. Thank you for watching this video and you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.